what's going on guys? We're gonna learn Demi Lovato's Give Your Heart a Break as requested by my student Tom. Now, since this is specifically for Tom, I wanna say that he asked me to do it in E flat. So we've changed the tuning around. So we have E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, and E flat. That way we can play these great open position chords and no bar chords and we can emulate the piano that really shows up in the bridge because we can get that low E flat note. I'll explain it when we get there. But just so you know, I've tuned down a half a step. If you don't want to tune down, take all the chords that I'm saying. So like if I, if I say C, lower it a half step so the actual chord that you'd be playing in standard tuning would be B. Does that make sense? If I say a G, a G shape, actually play an F sharp. That's a half a step lower. Okay? Are you ready? Let's go, Tom. Okay, so we're going to start on the fifth fret. We're kind of taking this violin line in the beginning and you're going to do So we're on the fourth string and the third string, five and five, then five and four, five and two, and then four and two. So let's do that slow. It's a staccato kind of quarter note. It's not. See, I'm cutting it off. Now, if you don't feel like doing that, you can play open position chords. Now, keep in mind that because we are down a half step, these aren't the actual chords, just the chord shapes. So this is not actually a C chord. It's actually a B, but we're gonna call it a C because of the shape. So if you don't wanna do that line, you can do C, G, E minor, D. Now what's great about this is this is your intro, your verse, and your chorus. So when it gets into it, that's your chorus. Now, because there isn't any prominent guitar, I'm kind of making it up making up the strumming as I go along. So I was just did down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 stop, down, 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 up, down, stop, down, 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 down. That's just what I feel like doing. Don't worry if you can't. You can do eighth notes. good with whatever. If you feel like only doing quarter notes, you can do that. So now the bridge. You can play just the chords that I'm calling out, but uh, Tom, I know you want the line to see what I came up with. So if you're going to do the piano line, here's my suggestion. Six string, and then you're going to have this motif. So, on the first string, three, two, open, three, two, open, three, two. If you don't do that, just play E minor. There you go. Now it's going to go to a C, 
Or you could play this line. I'm using this uh, root on the fifth string, third fret, and you do the same motif. Except I would only hit the bass note once. Next is D, where you could do this, play your open fourth string, and you're gonna do, but now hit this note on the second string third fret, so it goes. And then it's B minor, or take your root note here, on the fifth string, second fret, and you do the same. Exact same motif as the, the D shape. Now we go back to C. Oops, forgot the root note. Then an A minor, so open fifth string. And you're gonna hit the um, second string, first fret. Back to D, or. B minor, or like we've already done. Now this changes slightly. You'll do part of the motif, and then you're gonna go up to the seventh fret, all in the first string, second, third. So you've got. And then C, keep that motif going. I keep playing the bass note twice, and I'm not supposed to. G, <laughs> and then E minor. So let's go over that again, just chords on the bridge. E minor, C, D, B minor. Let's play what the piano is playing. So, E minor. C. D. Little variation. B minor. Don't add in that extra bass note, C, like I just did. A minor. D. B minor with the variation. C. And then E minor. Whew! That's it! So yeah, that wasn't awful, Tom, was it? No, no, I don't think it was so bad. Uh, let me know what you think about that. Keep in mind, um, since there's not a specific guitar part, you can kind of do whatever you want to do. Like in the um, intro, verse, and chorus, strum-wise. Do whatever's at your level. And uh, the bridge, just simplify it. And if I went a little too fast, 
for you, write all the chords down. Because everything, I think, is, is one bar each. So write the chords down so you can see it. Don't just expect to get everything at one time. Write it all down and then you can come back later. And if you feel like doing the piano part, do it. If not, just strum the chords. Or do whatever you want with chords. You can finger pick the chords if you wanted to. You could... I don't know that I would do this pattern with this song, but hey, 